Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today, guys, we are going to talk about the Armor Creighton 8S and my Traxxas X Max. Um, you know, this is the video, guys, that I hope to be, I hope is going to be fun for you to watch. Um, hopefully, you're sitting there right now. Hopefully, you got a bag of popcorn beside you or something to snack on because it's going to be a little bit longer than some of my other videos. Um, but, guys, full disclaimer right off the bat this is not, guys, a video where I bash one of the vehicles. And I, you know, I don't mean that in the fun way. I mean, I'm not going to put down one vehicle. I'm not going to make one vehicle seem better or a lot better than the other. Um, you know, there are issues with this one right here out of the box. There are some things that you got to change more so than the Creighton 8S. Um, so at the end of the video, I will discuss which one. If you could only have one, and that's a big you can only have one meaning you will not ever have any extra money to spend on it you have to take the vehicle out of the box which one and and have next to no money to spend on it which one should you buy i will do that but that is the only way i'm doing it because guys in my opinion these two trucks are amazing these two trucks are a lot of fun to drive they really seem to um you know the x-max guys has been out for three years three years now well, okay, the X-Max has been out for two years now because we're going to forget about the 6S X-Max because honestly, everybody that had one of those, you know, we kind of want to forget about that truck because that truck kind of really pissed a lot of us off. But anyways, this truck, guys, has been out for a while now and it's been a blast. Um, you know, part support is crazy. You, the worst thing about owning this truck is that before you even get it, you just search X-Max and you'll land on ProLine's website and all these other companies' websites and you will find the awesomest stuff that you want for them and you just, all of a sudden, you're you're into a truck for, you know, three, four grand and you're like, wait, what? What just happened? How did I spend all that money? My Crane NS, guys, hopefully I'm not going to go that route. Um, I've got, you know, different wheels and tires on it. I've got, you know, a few, you know, minor modifications underneath the, you know, underneath the body on it. Um, but I'm not going crazy with this truck. So... Even though you might be thinking, well, hey, that's not really fair. Why would you compare, you know, a truck that you've modded out to, you know, more of a stock truck? Um, it's because most of the stuff, guys, that are on this truck on my X-Max is there more for appearance sake than anything. Um, you know, I'm going to touch on, and again, guys, I'm going to touch on the upgrades that I did that are kind of necessary and the upgrades that are there that are just for appearance. So anyways, guys, again, hopefully you'll enjoy this video it is a little bit longer than usual. I've got some video clips. I've got, you know, my picture montages and all that kind of stuff going on. Um, and hopefully we know by the time you guys reach the end, you'll be thinking, hey, you know what? I know what I want. Or you'll be like me and think, you know what? I need to have both. Anyways, guys, enjoy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those pictures. Um, I wanted to start the video off, guys, with those just so that you could really see the difference, um, you know, in the two vehicles. You could sort of see the size difference, uh, you know, chassis layout difference, just everything about them. You know, see, be able to see the two vehicles without the body and the wheels and tires on just so that you can kind of, you know, get a good idea of how they are. Um, you know, you can see in that in those pics, guys, that, you know, the Creighton is a little bit longer. You can definitely tell that's a lot wider. Um, but, well, guys, what I want to do right now... Um, before I lead into these next clips, these these I got a couple of video clips coming up. Is I want to talk about the center differentials. Um, lately, unless you've been living under a rock, everybody is commenting on center differentials and shock oil or the the diff oil weights, and you know taking it up to you know million, two point five, twenty million, and it's it's huge. Everybody now is talking about it, and I'm going to kind of tell you guys why it seems that all of a sudden in the last few years why that's become so popular. 
For the longest time, guys, we ran slipper clutches. A lot of our trucks, not necessarily in this size, but eight scale and higher type thing, um, were all slipper clutches. So if you had any Revo, you know, you would tighten down that slipper, take it right to the end, back it off a quarter turn. And guys, that's kind of the equivalent today of running, you know, a very heavy, thick fluid in your differential. That's how you made it so that that hooked up and you got, you know, kind of like 50-50 sort of thing front and rear. Now, guys, we're doing it with the fluids. Um, this truck, guys, came to me with a million center diff fluid. The Traxxas X-Max comes with 20. So out of the box, and this is, guys, just out of the box, you run the X-Max and you'll have this truck that wheelies like crazy and is super fun. You will take out the Creighton and it handles really well, but... You just don't have that snappy acceleration and you're not pulling wheelies. So guys, what I'm about to show you now in these clips is three separate videos. The first one is the X-Max. You will see the X-Max launching, taking off. You'll see it, you know, you're going to see it wheelie and, and, and look really insane and out of control. That's fun. That's how I like my trucks. Then you're going to see a video of this thing stock. Then you'll see a clip, guys. The last clip will be of this truck running with the... Uh, 20 million center diff fluid and to be fair it does have the upgraded 22 tooth pinion um if you watched my diff fluid video you'll have seen two of these clips already but again i kind of shortened them down i made these you know just nice and you know very quick to watch uh just so that you'll get an idea so again x max creighton with the stock diff fluid 17 tooth pinion and then the creighton with the 20 mil and the um 22 tooth pinion here you go All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those clips. Uh, they were meant, guys, just to be quick. They were just meant to show you, you know, the X-Max out of the box. Um, you know, it's wheelie potential and all that kind of fun stuff. And then how the Creighton 8S shows up versus how I have mine set up. Now, um, where I want to go, guys, um, at this moment is I want to talk about the electronics in the two vehicles. And this is where, uh, you know, this is where, guys, I'm going to start to kind of, you know, maybe tick a few people off. But... The this X-Max, and guys, don't get me wrong, people, guys, do some crazy speed controllers and motors in their X-Maxes. This is not one of them. However, I have upgraded the VXL 8S to a Max 6. Um, this is my fourth X-Max. I had three before. I had a 6S. Uh, the 8S when it came out, I had a Snap-on 8S when it, when it came out. And then this one uh, I've had for now for, I don't know, maybe almost a year. But from my experience, guys, with X-Maxes, this is where I'm going to get into. I'm going to talk about the speed control, but I'm going to talk, guys, about a few things that unfortunately the Creighton sort of, they just did a better job on. When you first buy a Traxxas X-Max 8S, you buy it brand new, you're happy. You've gone to the hobby shop, you're spending the big bucks on it. There's a few other things that you need to buy that day. Walk in, buy your X-Max. Then you're going to say, I would like an 18-tooth Robinson Racing Pinion and I would like a hot racing 54 or a 52 spur. You're going to ask for those things right away, and I'm going to tell you why. Guys, in my experience, you will toast the stock pinion the first time you run this truck. I had this truck out, I think, for about four minutes before I destroyed my pinion and my spur. Um, I was not happy. I honestly, guys, felt like a baby in those videos because I was so ticked off that this truck couldn't handle the power from experience guys i've had those problems before um you know running stock tires running the stock vxl 8s you do not get that same punch with the vxl 8s so that may kind of save you for a little bit but 
you want to upgrade guys to max six also right away. Um, you don't have to take my word for it. Spend a little time on the group, spend a little bit of time on the forums and you will read everybody's, you know, um, complaints about the red lights of death and all that kind of stuff. So when you go up to max six, you get a lot more options. You can use, you know, a program card and you can really change things. Uh, one of the things guys I do is I always take my punch level up to five. Um, and I've done it, guys, in so many vehicles and never had a problem. My Sen Colossus XT, heck, drove that thing up to five right in the beginning. Never once had a problem with the pinion and the spur. Um, this thing, guys, was the first four minutes. I destroyed them. So you will go out. You will buy your Robinson Racing pinion. You will buy your Hot Racing Spur. You'll throw those in. And guess what? Boom. Truck's good to go that way. Um, next, going back, guys, to the speed control. The VXL 8S guys will get you going for a bit. Um, I've seen it where on the first run people have problems and I've seen it where, you know, people heck may, you know, get a couple of months out of it. Um, I took mine out before I even ran the truck and I would already ordered the Max 6 when I was getting the truck. So that went in right away. And honestly, guys, it's a simple drop in. I mean, it goes in, it fits in the cradle perfect. Uh, the wires reach no problem. It's a nice, nice, easy install. Uh, and you get guys all the extra features you can kind of adjust your own light bulb voltages and all that kind of stuff So it's kind of nice that way like your cutoff and stuff. So it's kind of nice that way um, You'll drop that in guys now. You've got that now. You're good to go that way the last thing is the tires um, And again guys don't take my word for it. Just spend a little bit of time in the groups um, Traxxas tires are not the greatest they tear the uh, the beads become unglued and it's a really yucky way to ruin your day Um I always say, you know, if I take a truck out and I'm beating the snot out of it and I take a bad jump and I break it, you know what? Oh, well, that's my fault. It's not the trucks. However, if I take the truck out and I'm just running and having a good time and my tires start to become unglued or my ESC starts to burn up and the lights go red or my pinion goes, those tick me off a lot because they shouldn't happen and they shouldn't happen on a truck this expensive. Um, but they do. So this is where, again, the crane out of the box I had none of those problems. Um, this thing, you know, I, I probably had maybe two, two, three hours on it before I did the uh, center diff and the pinion upgrade. And actually, even the tires for that matter, I had no problem with the stock tires either. Um, where with the X-Max, you know, it just seemed like every single time, guys, I took this truck out, it was just one thing after another. All right, guys, I'm going to go in now to um, a couple more videos showing both trucks running. Uh, the Basically, this is just going to be kind of some simple footage running on a field. You're going to get an idea about acceleration, you know, the wheelie potential, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but before I go there, guys, I just wanted to show you guys a difference in the tires. Uh, the Scorpions obviously look a lot bigger. They look a lot heavier than the Duratrax. However, that is not the case. So, the Scorpions are about 760 grams, okay? The Duratrax Hatchet X's. 749 grams. So you're talking about 10, 11, 12 grams worth of difference. Guys, do you want to know what weighs 10 or 11 grams? These are cleaning cloths. There are two of them, you know, like for your sunglasses, your glasses. They weigh 10 grams. So basically, there. Add those to those tires and they're pretty much the same weight. So again, running these wheels and tires, not a big deal when it comes to weight difference. Um, I am, I've, I've ordered guys the wheel nuts for the X-Max that allows me to run the more fifth scale size wheels and tires. So you're able to, you know, drill out the center uh, so that they would fit, those tires there would fit on the um, Creighton 8S. I had to do that with the Scorpions, as you can see, because they come basically, guys, with the same diameter as those. They come with that same diameter so that they'll fit on the X-Max. Uh, but again, you buy those, um, they're basically, you know, kind of like a, they just kind of a flanged out wheel nut that'll, that just helps the rim sit better. Um, so I'll have those. So I'm going to be able, guys, basically what I'm kind of getting to here is I'm going to be able to drill up my hatchets and put those also on the crate so I can try them out on this thing as well. Anyways, guys, here's a couple of video clips.
All right, guys, if you're wondering why that X-Max clip ended, you know, fairly short, why didn't it keep going on? Why didn't it go as long as the Crane Nate S1 did? Um, I'm going to show you why right now. So, guys, what happened at the end, you probably already know. My set screw on my pinion let go, and obviously, at that point, the truck doesn't move. Um, that, guys, happens every single time I run this truck. Um, I have tried blue Loctite. I have tried red Loctite. It doesn't matter what I do. Every single time I run it, that pinion lets go. Uh, sometimes, guys, it's literally two minutes into a run. Like in that case, that's what that was. Um, then there's times, guys, where I make it literally to, you know, the last few minutes of my run. And sometimes I'm even just walking, you know, back from the other side of the field. I'm walking back to the truck and it lets go. And then now I've got to carry it. Um... I hope, guys, to fix that with this. This is an arm pinion. And as you can see, it has flat on it. Um, so when it sits in on the actual motor shaft, it's not going to spin. It doesn't rely on the set screw to hold the pinion from moving, you know, this sort of way. The set screw there is only hope basically there to hold it from going back and forth. Um, but I got to show you an issue I have with that. Guys, is a brand new 1600 KV tracks this motor so this is the motor guys from the 6s x max um, i also have a aluminum motor mount as well this is something i'm debating guys on putting in um everybody you know i i shouldn't say everybody because really i actually haven't found that many videos on it um but i do know from what i've watched that this motor is an increase in performance so i may give it a try I don't know yet, but the problem I have, guys, is this. Because the flat on the motor right there doesn't go very long, this pinion will only go in so far. And then it stops. Now, if I turn it around, like the way it'll go on, it only goes in that far. So the set screw won't even hit anything. So basically, what I'm going to have to do, and I don't know how easy this is going to be, is because these shafts are hardened, is kind of dremel the flat down a bit. Um, and if I can dremel this down, I'll be able then to obviously put the pinion on and slide it down to where I need it. Um, that, guys, will get rid of that issue. I don't know why. It's only an issue with this truck. I have had many trucks. I've had many trucks with these size motors. And for some reason, this is the only one that that set screw and the pinion just seem to let go. Um, you know, it's it's why, guys, I don't have a ton of footage, um, honestly, on running the X-Max in this video is because every single time, guys, I take it out, that happens. So there was one night I went out with both trucks, was going to do, you know, it was a great night, was going to take some great footage, and I think it was 45 seconds into the first run, pinion let go. I came home, cleaned everything off, threw on some red Loctite, let it sit for like a week, I think, before I went out again. Same thing. Went out, got, I think, I think that time, guys, I got like 20, 25 minutes out of it. And it let go again. So I don't know why. It just, for some reason, this truck is plagued with that issue. It happens to me all the time. Uh, I run a high punch setting, but I run that high punch setting, guys, in pretty much every truck that has a Max 6. Um, it's just how I like my, my punch set. I like the snappy acceleration. Anyways, guys, uh, this is going to be coming, guys, in another video. I'm going to definitely be doing the upgrade and try it out. I'm kind of confused, I guess, with... Um, you know, when you go with a lower KV, that's usually when you can go up in your pinion tooth. When you go a higher KV, because you're losing a little bit of torque, you usually will go down a pinion tooth or so, depending on how much you need to go type thing. So, you know, right now I run a 20 tooth and the truck has no problems. It wheelies on demand. It's a lot of fun. So I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've got the motor. It's brand new. I feel like I need to do something with it, but I don't know. That'll, anyways, guys, that'll be coming up in another one.
right, guys, I hope you enjoyed those last couple of clips. Um, what I'm going to do, guys, now is kind of wrap up this video. I feel like it's gone on long enough. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have watched it from start to finish. I hope you kind of have an idea now on the differences of the trucks, um, you know, based on appearance and, 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 you know, the chassis layouts and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, guys, I can't stress this enough. Both these trucks are super fun. They are a blast to drive. They, you know, they've got great acceleration, especially after you change the diff fluid in this truck. Um, and, you know, besides from the X-Max, yeah, the X-Max guys does need a couple of bucks right out of the box. Um, but for a truck that's a few years old, it still handles amazing. And, you know, really, this thing should have been the X-Max killer. This thing should have been the truck that just makes everybody want to dump their X-Max and stick with it. And guys, I don't find that th that, that is the case at all. Um, I find both these trucks to be extremely fun. And I definitely would not get rid of either or. Um, because every time I run one of them, if I take out the Creighton and I run it and I have a blast, I'm like, yeah, I really like my Creighton. And then the next time I grab my X-Max and I take it out, there's not that, oh, this isn't, this isn't fun. This isn't as much fun as my Creighton. That never happens. I have just the same amount of fun with this truck as well. So I really feel, guys, like I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this video, I made a comment that I was going to choose one over the other. And <clears throat> the only way I can do that right now, guys, is, you know, out of the box, you got to spend some money on the X-Max, um, which kind of sucks because you, you do spend a pretty good dollar, especially if you buy it brand new. You'll spend a good dollar for it, and then you're immediately going to have to go into it and, and do some fixes. Um, that being said, the Creighton 8S, from what I understand, this may have changed now, but the first version, and even this version, guys, which is the 1.5, um, you have to change the center diff fluid to 20 mil. Um, and to me, guys, that's a must-have. If, you, if you're looking for the same kind of performance that you get out of an X-Max, you want those wheelies and all that kind of fun stuff, you need to do that. So... Even with this truck, you got things to do, except they're just not as costly. You buy some 20 mil diff fluid, you can upgrade your pinion. You know, you're in for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever. You're good to go. Over here, hey, that's not the case. Now, you're going to be able to sell your VXL8S. People still buy them. Some people will use them on, um, you know, less trucks. They'll use them on lighter trucks and stuff like that, where they don't have to work as hard. Um, your pinion and spur, well, oh, well, you're out those no matter what. Take those, toss them out. They're garbage. And... As for the stock wheels and tires, you know, you may get a couple of runs out of them if you're, you know, you may want to boil them when you first get them, re-glue them, all that kind of stuff. But I still, guys, had problems with them tearing, you know, kind of up in this area on them type thing. Um, I don't have my stock tires anymore, so I can't show you guys on them. But, um, so yeah, you're going to spend that kind of money. But, guys, either way, two trucks, super fun. Um, do not let forums and groups... And fanboys, fanboys, ruin it for you. These are two excellent trucks to own. And if you're into the bigger stuff, if you're if you want that, you know, six scale uh, type of vehicle, and you're you know you're not looking at going into you know a fifth scale gasser or something like that. These are two super fun trucks to have. Um, there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it, you don't just go, wow, this guy rambled on a lot. Um, because I just, I wanted to give you guys an honest opinion. I didn't want to give you what I found from some other people where I watched their videos and you can tell that one, one of the trucks is sponsored. You can kind of tell that they got some stuff sent for free and it's really, really easy to figure that out. Um, some guys are just so pro X Max and it, it just, it kind of irritates me because you kind of just go, no, I can't really trust this guy's opinion. Um, my opinion even though I didn't really give it because I'm telling you guys I like both trucks, is, well, I guess that's my opinion. Get both trucks. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you watch the video from start to finish. I hope you enjoy the clips. I hope you enjoy this next set of pictures. And as always, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Anyways, guys, take care. Have a great night and stay safe.